We have a fabulous dynamic duo of traffic generation. And I am proud to introduce the first half of that dynamic duo. And I have a very short story I want to tell. Um, about a year and a half ago or so, I was not really an internet marketer. I was just a coach working out of my house. And I came across a website, and on this website, there was a, a video of, a, and it was a kind of a bigger name marketer person, and he was really mean on this video to somebody else who was not such a big name person. And I thought, why would somebody be so mean? And the comments on this blog post was more horrible, hateful, mean comment, one after the other, after the other, after the other. And I thought, this is a terrible community. And then I came across a comment from a man named Ken MacArthur. And it said, what are we doing? We should be lifting each other up. We are a community of people who should work together. And I thought, amen. That is a man I want to know. And then two posts down was a post from a man named Frank Sousa. And he said, we are a community. We should be lifting each other up. I am living my dream today because of the internet and what I have learned and what I can do. And I want other people to do that as well. We shouldn't be using these forums in this way. We should lift each other up. The man who I'm about to introduce to you is a man of service. He is a man of God. And he is living his dream. And I am so grateful to know Frank Sousa. I remember that post very, very well. Uh, I got to tell you just a short story, two, actually two short stories. First off, Mike, if you wouldn't mind standing just a minute, you guys need to understand something here. People always confuse us. They, they get us confused. And, and you need to understand, he's the one with the curly hair. I don't have any. But. About three years ago, I was at a JV Alert event in Philadelphia. And uh, as Ken really, really tries to do, as you've seen by now, he tries to put people together and to visit and stuff like that. I met Mike. And uh, we went out to dinner that night. It was at a David Buster, Dave and Buster's. It was down like on a river or waterfront or something like that. And this guy starts talking to me about how he's using video and he's getting traffic just coming in by by the tons. And he's getting all this stuff, but he says, you know, it takes so darn long to submit these things. And that night, that night we sat down and we kind of laid out this little program that we figured out that was going to drive a whole bunch of traffic. We mapped it out on a napkin. The proverbial napkin, you know, in the restaurant thing, we actually truly did. Uh, I went home and uh, got together with a fellow that had done some programming for me before. And uh, I don't know, it took it two, three weeks. We had kind of the basis of what we now call Traffic Geyser. And it's grown into something absolutely fabulous. And it all came from a JV Alert event. Now, here's the deal. I was going to introduce Mike. But we've got somebody else, somebody else that I want to introduce you to that's going to go ahead and introduce my partner, Mike Koenigs. So today, I'm here to share with you, introduce to you a gentleman who's a dear friend of mine. He's helped me immensely. And it's the idea of how do I get my information out and engage my customers, and primarily how to use video to do that through the web. Helped me set up my studio and really helped me get going. He's been a dear friend. But more importantly, he's been a consultant to some of the biggest companies in the world. Here's a guy that started literally from nothing, but back in the early days of the web, back in 1991, you know, most people forget 1989 is when the World Wide Web really was created. So within a few years, he was already the guy that was, you know, writing you know, the, some of the first CD-ROMs uh, games, you know, that were out there. Did some of the first Mac games that existed for Macintosh. You know, went out and became the person that really, when the movie industry, was the guy that set up all those initial websites for Sony and for Columbia TriStar and for Fox. Uh, it was a guy that's, you know, managed or helped some of the largest business in the world, 3M, you know, Domino's Pizza. I mean, the list goes on and on. But he's also shown people how to get started from nothing. And I know that's what he's probably most proud of. So I want to introduce to you uh, Mike Koenigs, my dear friend. Welcome, Mike. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. And I want to 
publicly, first of all, acknowledge my business partner, Frank Souza of years. Um, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. And also, I want to acknowledge his wife, Carol, <clears throat> who puts up with the byproduct of us working together. So <laughs> I want to say thank you. And um, you know, the old saying, behind every great man is a great woman. And um, I just want to acknowledge you. So thank you. All right. Excuse me, I'm kind of an emotional guy. All right, so here's what I have for you today. This is all about using video to get lots of traffic. And the bottom line, I guess this is the whole summary. You know, you always want to, I, I have this tendency of trying to pack in too much stuff as Frank learns. It's sort of like turning on the fire hose. So please excuse me today as I turn on the fire hose, all right? Are you all here ready to learn some stuff about video marketing? Yeah. All right, how many of you are using video right now in video marketing by show of hands? And how many of you don't know who Traffic Guys or Frank and I are, just so I know who you are? You got t-shirts, that's awesome. So you got free stuff. So, so I'm going to be talking to you the whole time, OK? I'm going to torture you. No, not really. I won't do that. OK, well, this is really all about getting more done. Hopefully, I can reveal some new techniques, tricks to you today. I'm just going to move right, uh, right ahead and tell you what I got for you today, as John Carlton would say. Here's what I got for you today. Number one, if you don't already have a social media marketing plan, my number one goal is that you walk away with one. So in my experience, the most challenging part of coming to an event is walking away completely overwhelmed and learning so much stuff and not knowing where to begin. Anyone relate to that? I can for sure, yes. I like that. Keep up. Nice and boisterous, okay. Number two, um, this to me is the most powerful way to establish yourself as a surefire authority. And in my opinion, there are a couple things that I can teach you today. And uh, we all know that writing a book is one of those mission critical things. But becoming an expert in authority, if there ever were one of three magic bullets, this is one of the three. Um, your personal brand is the most valuable thing that you can work on. It will catapult you into magnificent places. And that's really what this game is all about. It doesn't matter if, you're, if you think about it. The greatest CEOs also have a personal brand. Every great entrepreneur has a personal brand. It's something you should be working on all the time. There's a couple simple, simple strategies on how to get there, and I'll talk about those today. It's about getting uh, discovered, attention, creating buzz, which of course is critical. We all know that if we paid attention to the, all the product launches that go on inside our industry all the time. That's the game. Next is being able to share your message with the world instantly and getting tons of free web traffic and creating community and fans and building your list, making money and having fun. Okay, everyone wants to have fun here, yes? Okay, good. All right. So. I'm also going to share with you, this is kind of a new one, but I call it my 10-year mistake that cost me, I believe, $30 million. If I would have figured this out, so I'm going to give that away to you today. Interested in that? $30 million? All right. And here's the deal. Um, we implemented this. It, I don't know if, Frank, remember that one day you called me up and said, have you checked out our shopping cart? And remember how we kind of saw that big bump? Yes. OK. <laughs> yeah, that day. You saw the big bump, OK? If you compare the month before and then that next month, it was because of what I believe it had a lot to do with what happened here. It also happened to do with, you know, there are some other factors at work. But um, it's a strategy that anyone can implement in 30 days or less. I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. It's so stupid simple. And like every great thing in life, when you start thinking about, oh, all these things I can do, and, and, and you show it to someone, they're like, too complicated. So it's the simple stuff that makes the biggest difference, and I'm going to share it to you. Share it with you. Share it to you. Share it at you. OK, yes. All right. So I'm, I guess quite a few of you know who I am and stuff like that. So I'm going to just skip through it really fast. First of all, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, and I'm a nerd. And I love to say I was a nerd back when you got beat up for being one. Anyone else relate to that? OK. Isn't it interesting when you finally find a community and you're like, OK, I've thought I was weird my whole life, and once I find a whole bunch of other weirdos, say hello. Isn't it nice? Hello, weirdos. Isn't it great? Exactly. All right. If 
But I have a high school education, a C minus average. I was not good, and I'm still not a, uh, a rote learner. I'm an immersive learner. Um, so it, I think it makes me, uh, and I, I'll tell you right now, my, there are a couple of great joys I have in my life. The first one is I love to teach, and nothing gives me greater pleasures. There are two things. One of them is when I see the light bulb turn, turn on, and when someone flips that switch, and they're like, not only can I do it, I get it for the first time in my life. This is, this is what I love most about speaking and connecting with people. And when you see the aha go on, if there's any gift I can give you right now, please learn the greatest skill you can possibly learn. That is to share yourself in a public forum, in a public audience. It is incredibly difficult these days, as Ken knows, to put these live events on. It is hard to put people in a room. So I want to acknowledge you for that, first of all. Yes, and I have to acknowledge this man because I wouldn't be with my great partner here if it weren't for you. And this is where the magic happens. So um, as I often say, learn, learn through layers. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've learned. I've spent 20 years of my life building and growing and learning. Also, you know, emulate, model, right? And as we model, we grow. And, and I love that Jim Rohn saying, success leaves clues, right? Isn't it great? But, uh, and I'm not saying I'm it by any stretch. You've got great speakers here all weekend that Ken's put together and model them, learn from them, and share yourself because that's really how you win. Okay, self-taught programmer, marketer. I started a company called Digital Cafe, sold it 10 years later. That's some of the stuff Tony was talking about. I made an independent feature film that got distributed by Warner Brothers. Great lesson, lost money, okay? Then about four and a half years ago, discovered internet marketing and life changed. That's when my light turned on. It seemed like going back, <clears throat> when I was like four, five years old, I used to memorize the J.C. Penney Christmas catalog. Okay, I grew up you know, in a lower middle class home and I did a lot of wishing growing up. And um, <clears throat> the wish book, it was the wish book. I think it was Sears was the wish book, wasn't it? Okay, well, I memorized that too. I was like J.C. Penney better, I don't know why. But I think they wrote better copy. But the other thing that I did growing up is I loved getting mail. So I'd go to the library, I'd get the little cards, and I'd circle the bingo cards. I'd circle every single thing, so I got a lot of mail every day. My mom thought I was completely insane, and I didn't realize... Did you do that too? Yes, okay, Ken did too. I didn't realize I was getting a lesson in the other greatest skill, and that is direct response marketing, which I didn't understand until about three or four years ago, really. And uh, one of my mentors, I didn't know it, was Joe Sugarman, the great Joe Sugarman, who also went on to create infomercials that have since, remember Blue Blockers, selling about a billion dollars worth of sunglasses on TV. Pretty cool. So why was I telling you that? Oh, internet marketing. But <clears throat> the thing I'm most proud of, and my wife just came back from Uganda this last Monday, um, we've been doing some, some charitable work, if it's okay. How many of you have seen one of the videos I play? A few of you? Okay. Well, not all of you, so I'm gonna, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna play a little video, okay? All right. Here's what I believe. I believe we all have a responsibility, and that is to give um, and to contribute and to change this world. And if there's one thing that I do believe more than anything is that in this environment that we live in right now in the United States and in the free world, we have the ability to create massive wealth and income. We have a responsibility too, in fact, and it's up to us to teach and educate because the only way out of the pickle that we're in right now, both from a political 
in an economic point of view is to spread the wealth, educate, and wipe out ignorance. It's the only way to create a peaceful environment. Okay, enough of the political conversation. That's what I believe. So I'm here today to give you as much as I can to help you do that as well. Okay, the quiet part of the day. So I'm going to tell you, oh yes. Educate and uh, create, create wealth. We can create massive wealth here. The, the strength of this country right now, in my opinion, I've, I promise I'll stop after that, lies in small business and entrepreneurs. It does not come from the government or um, Wall Street. In my opinion, they're the, they're the, the, the criminals here at work you know, who, have, who have damaged this, but we can pull it up as, as small business people. We can create massive wealth and spread it around the world. That's what I believe, and I've observed it over and over again in Africa, for example. You give some women, do microfinance, teach them some basic skills, they create create self-sustainable little economies, they send their children to school, and that's how you wipe out poverty. Over and over again, it's a proven fact. Ignorance is the enemy. It ain't terrorism. Terrorism is a byproduct of ignorance. So, I'm gonna give you a little walk through here and tell you about how my wife Vivian actually built a magnificent platform and became an expert and an authority with her charity and how that can relate to you, and I promise it will make sense in the big business point of view. Is that cool? All right, so this is baby Christina, born premature. Her mother died in childbirth. Why? There are a bunch of nuns delivering babies by kerosene light. Why? The Ugandan government can't deliver power maybe a couple hours a week. And uh, while she was there, and how she got there is a, is a story. I won't get into all the details, but the bottom line is one night she turned to me. She woke me up and said, Mike, I have to go to Africa. And I'm like, why Africa? She says, I don't know. I'm just called. And I said, Trust your instincts here, whatever it is. And through a series of unusual events, she wound up in a small village, um, Luero, Uganda, with a bunch of Catholic nuns who were just doing what they could with very limited resources. So she saw this and said, I got to make a difference. And look, all the nuns are used to white people walking in, telling them what's what, saying they're going to change things, and then disappearing into the light, getting involved in their busy little lives. I don't know, driving around and dropping off their kids at soccer. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's all, you know, a matter what happens. So she came home, and while she was there, I gave her a little video camera. She came back with some very raw footage, nothing great. She's, frankly, a terrible videographer at the time. And um, I gave her some guidance. I didn't do this for her. But she had a little video made for about $500. She just hired a videographer. And made this little video, and you can see the little picture of this little kid up here, and it told her story. She, she bore witness, as the saying goes. And suddenly she got calls from the news media saying, hey, will you speak on the news? She got some radio gigs, and she got an uh, email and a call from some African businessmen doing an event in Detroit. We live here in San Diego. Will you come and speak as an expert and an authority on the top of, topic of Africa AIDS, HIV, and poverty. She's like, okay. They gave her an all-expenses-paid trip, gave her some money. Oh, and by the way, her goal was she wanted to, uh, when she asked the nun, this is an important part of the story that I left out, was what can I do that will make the biggest difference? And they said, we need power to refrigerate the medicines and, and, and have light and electricity so we can deliver the babies. So her mission was to raise money for a generator. It turned out she needed about 30 grand to do it. So that was her mission. A woman on a mission? Don't stand in her way, right? Okay, so uh, anyway, she, she, also she created a little foundation. She found out it was easier to put this thing together. We knew an attorney who threw together a, a foundation for her, saved her like 20 grand to do this. And like I said, a woman on a mission with another woman. You got a quorum, don't you? Something like that. So she got the attention. She started speaking. And what we did, how did that happen? Well, we named the video... The secret to really helping Africa, like Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and Bono from U2. A technique now we call standing on the shoulders of giants, which is leveraging the news media, whatever is going on, and they were big at the time, about three years ago. And uh, it drove a bunch of traffic. She got Google placement. And again, this is during the early days of Traffic Geyser as well. We were still kind of formulating some of our strategies. So uh, the same thing happened when you'd search for Brad Pitt in Africa, and this is actually recent, so these still show up, but at the time it was showing up also in Google, like and you type in Angelina Jolie in Africa, Vivian's videos were showing up. So how did she get the attention? Well, people, other people were looking it up, and they're like, well, if we can't get Angelina Jolie, maybe this other chick will help us out, you know, and talk. So anyway, 
So 30 days later, raised enough money to put a generator in, and you can just imagine the, the nuns, you know, when she comes back and delivers this thing, pretty amazing, a lot, not, a, not a dry eye in the, in the village. And uh, since then, uh, well, that's baby Christina two years later, and she's now, you know, three, three years old, but nice, fat, and happy, just the way little, little kids should be. And this is why she called the foundation just like my child. The whole idea is, you know, where you, know, where you are born should not determine whether you live or die. So, now it grew a little bit more from there. We started doing these live events. Last year with Frank Kern, we raised $115,000. We did an event kind of like this. We get people in, donate 100% of the money. And this year we did another one. We raised actually about $330,000. So... The lesson here is there are new ways of looking at business, and I've heard this before. I haven't verified it, but someone told me that the you know, conscious capitalism or capitalism was begun by uh, missionaries at one point, and their goal was to be able to um, you know, do some sort of an activity, raise money and support something that might not be a, you know, a financially uh, successful enterprise. In other words, supporting people. And again, I'm not positive that that's the case, but I like the story. So when you think about it, you can leverage your expertise and perform conscious capitalism and give and use basically greed. What are we doing? We're attracting a lot of people to learn some really useful skills about creating products and creating an ongoing revenue stream for themselves. That's really what the event was about. And it's been very, very successful. So... Hopefully there are some good lessons in there for you, but I believe that this is one of the techniques that we can use as a community to, again, strengthen and increase the quality of life worldwide as well as in our own community. Okay, enough of that lesson. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you like that? Is that useful? Okay, cool. So this is, this is nice. I know some of you are newbies, some of you are advanced, but I'd like uh, a show of hands. How many of you are brand new? Okay, a few, all right. And so, I don't know about you, do you ever feel left behind when it comes to this stuff? And the rest of you, do you feel left behind even though you're in the middle of it? It's like, kind of whizzing by, you're like, holy crap, there's so much good stuff going on here. How do I get in there? Or just feeling overwhelmed. I think this is, in our society today, overwhelm is the number one thing. When I ask, you know, thousands of people, what do I feel? When I get comments, you know, what's going on? I'm completely overwhelmed. I don't know what I should believe, what I should trust, what I should use. And uh, I'm going to whip through this because, you know, I do believe that deep inside, once you find a way, a creative system that works for you to generate revenue, so you don't have to worry about the 30-day monster that's looming and chasing you all the time. That's what I call the financial beast that's on our backs. But you get past that, and it's a lot easier to give. And giving is a great thing. But 10% of a buck can't do a lot. But 10% of a million bucks a year can do a lot. In other words, your financial resources can go a lot further if you have the means and the resources to do a lot more. And that's really what this game is about, and I presume you're here for, right? Okay. All right, so the first thing I always talk about when someone says, okay, I'm thinking about this stuff, always get back to the basics. It's always the simple stuff and the fundamentals that make the biggest difference, and that is it's never about the technology, it's never about pushing buttons, it's useful, it's a tool, it's about the psychology. If you learn the psychology of how we learn to trust, you win. And that's really what this presentation is about more than anything else. It's about trust, building trust. So next, this is another one that I've been telling everyone in the company lately. A system consistently delivers predictable results. People who fail are folks who can't see the forest from the trees and see the system or model a system. And once you find a system that consistently del delivers predictable results, you can leverage it and other people and resources and tools to win all the time. It's a universal truth. Next, traffic generation, leads, sales, business, success in life requires a system that consistently delivers predictable results. Does anyone think that that doesn't make sense? It's always the simple stuff, so we can build on top of the simple stuff, we're going to win. All right. We all know this, everyone here, traffic plus conversion equals money. Easy. And for our newbies here, you know the difference between um, Google AdWords and AdSense? In other words, the stuff on the right are the paid ads. 
stuff in the middle is organic results. Now, an interesting statistic is the click, you get, you're more likely to get three times as many clicks in the middle as you do on the paid ads. And that makes sense. Why? Or, or more specifically, that's actually for the buyer, it's trust, okay? So if you know something's an advertisement, will you trust that more than an article, for example? What are you more likely to trust? The ones in the middle are more likely to be articles, okay, than ads. So that's the reason why, all right? So when you look at, you know, generating traffic, these are your partners. You've got Google, you have Yahoo, Bing, which was MSN not long ago, and nowadays it's, it's Yahoo, so, or YouTube, I'm sorry, Yahoo? Not anymore, they don't really matter that much. It's really Google's the, the, the number one environment that we care about appealing to. All right, so here's your partners. So the goal is you wanna get all your stuff to Google, you know, that is our outcome, that's our goal. Your real partners are the social media sites, they're the authority sites. And they connect you with, right now, there's about a billion and a half internet connected users worldwide. There's four and a half billion mobile phone users worldwide. I believe the future of marketing is about mobiles, mobile delivery. And even in Africa, when we're there, there are, you know, the phones there, there are people who have no running water, no sewer systems, they're living in mud huts and they still have mobile phones. It is the lifeline. And it can at least prevent a lot of miserable things from happening. But more and more of those are capable of receiving video. Even there, the quality of the connections, well, it's certainly better than AT&T. How many of you use AT&T? <laughs> Rotten. OK. But worldwide, the mobile phone delivery system is actually pretty good. 80% of the connected planet has mobile phone access today. So these are some basic statistics. They're pretty simple. To me, the most important are the two. but. 30 billion videos watched in the United States every month. That's actually increased. It's actually about 140 million people are watching online video right now per month in the United States. Average duration of an online video watched is three and a half minutes. The average session time on YouTube is 27 minutes. That's according to eMarketer. This is pretty cool. Wharton School of Business showed that video boosts comprehension and retention by 50% over a live presentation. That's pretty interesting. I did not know that. And here's the thing that really is the reason why the tool that we built works so well is because if you put, create a video, you name it with keywords that people are searching for, it's gonna show up in Yahoo, Google, MSN. Google in about 10 minutes, I've seen it happen in about three and a half minutes live on camera, and I've actually seen it happen in less than three minutes before from the time you submit it until it shows up in either an RSS feed or Google. That's pretty cool. So the big reasons why you wanna be using video, again, this is nothing anyone here doesn't know, Bottom line, old school media doesn't work like it used to. I'm not saying it's not useful. I'm just saying it just doesn't convert. It's hard to make old school media work because Google's so convenient and everyone's on it. Stuff you already know. Um, but I believe that right now, more than ever, even in this time, look, leads never go out of style. Everyone needs more business. Every business needs more business. If you're good at doing that, you're gonna win and there's a lot of opportunities. It doesn't matter what happens in our economy, everyone needs leads. All right, so I'm curious, how many of you know the Newbie Mike story? I've been telling this for a little while, a few of you? Okay, not everyone, that's great. This is one of, uh, this just happened a couple months ago, and here's the back story. Newbie Mike is a friend of a friend of mine. Well, it's actually the brother of a friend of mine. And she called me up one day and, and you know, she had, been watching what we had been doing and seen some success stories and she said, my brother's 27, he's never found anything he connects with. He's smart, not that great in school, but he's just never found anything he really connects with. And, and the backstory, 27, no college education, broke t about 10 grand in debt, got laid off from the mortgage industry four times in a year, uh, working in food service for 18 months, oh joy, oh joy. Um, zero marketing experience, never made a dollar online, never created a blog, never built a website, um, never been on video, never edited video. So to me, the perfect noob. Um, and at the time, my goal was to create some m training material for internal use to train new coaches. And the goal is I figured, okay, if I can take someone from zero to being functionally useful 
and able to perform basic services. In other words, everyone these days, I believe, needs a social media marketing expert in their lives. Everyone I've ever talked to wants it and needs it. I'll give you some proof of that in a moment. So I thought, okay, if I can get someone in, take them from there to there, we've got training material we can use internally. So I gave him some videos to watch. Two days later, he wrote back and said, this is super cool. You know, can I learn some more? I said, well, I'm going to do one better than that. <clears throat> if you can get yourself, and he lived in Flagstaff, Arizona, from Arizona to San Diego, I'll put you up for two days. I'll teach you everything I possibly can pack in in two days' time on three conditions. One is you get here on your own. I'll put you up. Second one is that I can record it and use it internally. And third, I make zero promises about what happens next. You've got to be good with just that. He's like, fine. So he quit his job. He jumped in his car. That was on a Friday. The next Monday night at 11.30 at night, he jumped in his car, which he actually rented because his car he thought was going to break down along the way. Uh, he showed up at my door at 8.20 a.m. I remember it distinctly. He came eight, 10 minutes early. And... Um, he was hopped up on, uh, he drank like five energy drinks, so he was definitely bouncing off the walls. And I'm like, are you sure you're cool? He goes, absolutely, I'm ready to go. So I said, let's go out for breakfast. We'll go through everything that I'm going to teach you in the next two days. Bring a notebook and write this stuff down. So we sat down for breakfast, and by 11 o'clock, he was in the studio, and we made our first video, and the video was, hi, this is newbie Mike, and I told his little backstory. I'm going to teach him everything I can in the next two days about social media marketing and uh, you know, marketing yourself online, building blogs, blah, 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 blah. What questions should newbie Mike ask me that you'd like to learn? Well, we got 500 responses in a couple of hours from our list. Okay? And it wasn't our big list. We didn't send it out to our main list. It was a couple sub-lists. And a lot of those were, can I be, you know, what's it take to be the next newbie Mike? So I knew we had a little business idea here that I hadn't contemplated, and I thought, oh, maybe I can take this to some other places. So anyway, uh, in the meanwhile, while that was happening, that took a couple of hours for probably about 150 of the 500 to come in. It was maybe not even 90 minutes. And uh, while we did that, I showed him some basics of shooting and editing, and he started doing it himself. And uh, along the way, of course, we made a lead capture page and that kind of thing. So, um, and this is what I didn't give you the backstory on. The reason I chose him is because I could hear he was hungry in his voice and he wanted to make a difference and he was sick of where he was at, which is the greatest place to be in as an entrepreneur. Anyone relate to that one? Yes? So here's what happened. In 48 hours, we got on camera, edited video. We submitted those little videos. So he interviewed me in the studio. He got to be the interviewer and the reporter. And he edited those. We broadcast them out with our system. We got Google top 10 listings. I'll show you proof in a moment. We started capturing leads. We put those on a blog. And we used a strategy, a, a technique we, I call the blog bond system. And um, at the end of it, I was so impressed with how his comprehension worked because the final test was, I said, okay, Mike, I'm an author. How do I use social media marketing to promote my book? And he went through the process that he had learned over two days. I'm like, okay, great. Okay, I'm a small business person. Let's say I'm a plumber. What should I do? He went through it. So he nailed it. I'm like, okay, good. All right. So I figured, you know, we, we certainly always need, you know, more support and help in our group. So I went out, got him a laptop, bought him a hard drive, put all the videos on the laptop, and I said, okay, pay you, give you a, a basic job. Go and edit these things. And four days later, he edited all those videos, which became the newbie Mike training videos. And um, he also just moved to Malaysia. So he's living there right now. I have a nice little video, but it's a, it's a great story. So I want to do a little test right now. It's not a trick. And that is this. Right now, do you have someone in your life, or would, what would you do right now if you could spend two days with me in my studio learning social media marketing? Would that be interesting to you? Stand up if it would be. Okay? All right? Like I said, not a trick. All right? And the next one is, if not you, anyone who's sitting down, as I always say, either you're lazy or you're lying, but uh, I'm going to sweeten it, and I'll say, is there someone in your life, a son, a daughter, a spouse, or someone you work with who could benefit from learning these skills, okay, right? So this is the first example what I call great social proof. Look around. I actually believe that social media marketing is the most in-demand skill set worldwide. And think about it. 
Who doesn't need more leads, more traffic, better relationship with your customers, your clients, and uh, to bond with them? So the other thing is look around and look at the opportunity. When you've got this, there's massive opportunity and there's a gap in that skill set. Make sense? So you can sit down right now, but I just want you to look around. That was the, the whole point here. And we're going to go places with social proof, all right? So here's what happened. We submitted those videos. It was on the first day that we shot, edited, recorded, and submitted them. And this is when we woke up. We actually had positions, let's see, one and two organic, plus an icon showed up on one of the sites we submitted to. Pretty cool. And then <clears throat> within, uh, after he went home and he started submitting the rest, he said, I submitted five of the Newbie Mike videos this week. I did a search for social media video marketing, and with over 54 million competing pages, we've got spots five and six. That is awesome. So when you turn the newbies into believers, it's pretty cool, and there's proof. Here we are, Mike and I sitting down. So what we're doing is we're broadcasting our little videos, keyword loading them for our topic to drive qualified traffic and leads. And I'll explain this in great detail in a moment. But the net result is, it was like, holy cow, I can do this too. And as the old Mary Kay saying goes, is it easy? Does it work? Can I do it? If you can answer those three simple questions in a headline with social proof, you got sales. Yes? Okay. So here's a couple more successes I'll walk you through. <clears throat> because oftentimes someone will say, well, will this work for my business type? And always remember, we're all in the same business, and that is we're in the marketing business, right? And it has nothing to do with our product or service. Marketing is marketing is marketing. Human psychology is human psychology. Creating demand, desire, and trust for any product or service is the game we play. And when you do that with total integrity and have congruence, you'll create customers and relationships for, for life. In fact, they'll put up with your incompetence when you have that. <clears throat> and let's face it, we all fail, right? We wake up every morning, we do the best we can with what we got. Okay, so here's an example. This is in a niche with 837,000 competing pages. Now, the, the the um, product that they're selling is an ebook, and it's really about alkaline diets, but the keyword phrase they're optimizing for is cancer cure, all right? So take it easy on me, I'm not, you know. All right, so here's what, what happened. I got this email from Rebecca, and um, here's what she said. I, I, um, at 8.12, I uploaded a promotional video to 20 plus video sharing sites, keyword loaded, by 9.30, so an hour and 15 minutes later, page two of Google. Um, she got her first sale selling the ebook at 60 bucks. And I've seen this happen with the strategy we've taught before on um, basically doing affiliate marketing with video. So uh, the next day, moved up to page one of Google. Two months later, it's still Google page one. It still is after a year. Search engine ranking on a highly searched keyword phrase has helped my fledgling website make $28,161.02 in sales. What she actually did, she did two really, really smart techniques. One of them is she took that video and she went out to all of her affiliates and said, hey, I'll make a custom version of this video with your affiliate link on the bottom. You can submit it to all these sites and you'll make money. And I actually did it and that thing still is making me money. Every, uh, every week I'll get some sort of uh, uh, payment. I'd say you know, a few sales a month is very common. So I, know it, I, I knew it worked when I, when I saw that occur. And um, also what she did is she submitted you know, a variation of this video using a bunch of other highly targeted keyword phrases. So um, I just want you to know that the 28 grand didn't come just from video submission alone, okay? Um, here's another one. This is a, a really good one. And again, someone will say, well, what if I have a business with inventory? So what this guy, Karsten Jacks, does is he sells carved saint statues. So he'll like, you know, uh, wood... St. Matthew statue or some, you know, variations on those themes. So he's found all the keyword phrases that people search for, looks through his inventory, finds a statue to match that keyword phrase, and he'll just take the statue, put it on a turntable or a still image with some royalty-free music on the background with a link to his site. That's how he does his optimization. So if you have inventory or a client that has inventory, take little pictures, put some music behind it, submit it with a link. Make sense? Here's the other thing. People often say, does it work in whatever language or whatever uh, country I'm from? 
So he's German, he's got a thick German accent. A, he doesn't make any videos with his voice underneath because he doesn't like the way he sounds to, you know, he thinks Americans won't buy from him if they hear a German accent. And um, the other thing is he just keeps it simple. So um, remember that if you make a video in a different language and you submit it with that language, Google sorts it out for you and puts it in the right place. You don't have to deal with that. And uh, here's an example. And remember earlier, we were talking about the probability that one of the um, ads on the right-hand side is about three times less likely to get a click. I actually think that's conservative. I think it's probably less than that. But your goal, the holy grail, is multiple listings during, for a single keyword search. And the reason why multiple listings are showing up, this one is for Quigo, this one's for his blog, here's one for his main site, here's one on Rever, here's one on a... On a another UK site that must have grabbed his RSS feed. The whole thing is when you're submitting to a whole bunch of different sites, they're all seen as authority sites and Google will gobble them up, okay? So typically Google doesn't want to display multiple listings from the same site, it won't do it. But if they're coming from a whole bunch of social media sites, there's a higher probability it's gonna show up and you'll get multiple listings. Greatly increasing your probability of getting clicks. So. Here's another one. Someone will say, what about my local business? So this guy sells granite countertops. You get this all the time. Well, I sell cars. I sell insurance. Can I target my area, my region, my city, my state? And the answer is you just load it in the keyword phrase. It greatly increases the probability that you're going to succeed. And as the old saying goes, the riches are in the niches. So in this particular case, the average cost per month to buy the keyword is about four grand. And you can see highly competitive, and a lot of these are, like uh, here's Virginia, Maryland, so you can see they're localized listings. He's dominating page one for granite countertops, Potomac, Maryland. So if you're inserting your keyword phrase, your business, and putting your city, state in front and in back, doing multiple submissions with a slightly different video, that's how you win and you dominate. Make sense? Okay, I get that all the time. And we've got people who are basically doing this service for clients. And yeah, I'll get into more of the meat in a second. So here's one of the guys who actually works as one of our coaches, Bob Costello. So uh, at least three calls a day worth an additional twenty dollars to $25,000 per month. And the um, interesting thing about Bob is he actually started optimizing and doing some work for other granite countertop businesses. And the strangest one I've ever had is I gotta think of the dude's name. Remember that guy from Canada, Jim? Jim's one of our coaches, by the way, if you haven't met him yet. And uh, you'll meet him in a bit. He, uh, what he does is he specializes in burial plots. And he's become a social media marketing expert for burial plots. He's located in Canada, it works so well, and he had other people asking him to do the same thing. So he started selling his services in select regions. So you know, of course he wouldn't compete with himself. So again, the opportunity is to create a specialized service in this business is gigantic right now. Kind of weird. Another guy, Steve Moran. He's a guy that does this kind of thing for dentists. So he'll do like an initial video. He creates custom autoresponder messages and he'll submit the video. And, and uh, this is after we had an event. He wrote me three days later. He says, uh, actually, let's see, January? It doesn't say what day. I remember it was like a within three days, might have even been sooner than that. Great weekend, wanted to know I landed my first client yesterday, three days after the event, there it is, he paid me 9K up front, his contract to pay me 14.97 per month forever. Pretty cool. So again, the whole idea of, I believe every business needs this and every business wants it. Blake Goodwin, another guy who was listening to, um, we did a, a webinar one night, and we were talking about, again, doing this as a business. He actually was working for an online advertising company, he quit his job, and just started doing this, and this first client was his dad. And after that, his dad told three of his buddies, and boom, started a business. Now he claims he'd, he was gonna do seven figures this year. I don't know where he is right now. Just basically doing local video business. So, just ordinary people doing it. So here's a little bit of the meat in terms of the how this works. So there's five steps. The first one is present. Your outcome and your goal is to make very simple videos. I say easy to make unforgettable content to penetrate, meaning you distribute that content throughout the net to get traffic. Position, which is presenting an offer, convert and capture leads. We'll talk about what that means, a great offer. 
persuade, which is creating a conversation with your visitors. This is what leads to the trust. And finally, getting paid. So five Ps. You don't have to write all this down right now because each one of these is going to show up multiple times, so I'll be able to move forward, okay? So we're all familiar with the handy-dandy flip camera. I always say, if you're not carrying this with you every single place you go, I'm going to give you a gigantic reason why you're going to want to for the rest of your life within a few minutes, okay? And um, uh, people are always like, well, is it good enough and stuff? It's good enough for doing a lot of stuff. Now, my preference is to have a fancy camera like this EX1 here, which happens to cost 7,500 bucks. Can't put it in my pocket, and it's expensive for most of us, right? So the whole deal is, exactly, it's all right. You know, you mortgage your house, you get a fine camera. That's cool, yeah. But this should be with you all the time. And if you're, and there we go. Jim's a good listener. And uh, if you want to make better videos, always get a camera that has a microphone input. The Canon model, starting at around 300 bucks, will do a fine job. So I'll tell you more about the equipment in a little while. But this is a great pathway for getting from where you are to where you want to be. So how many of you are familiar with the 10 by 10 by 4 formula? A few of you? OK, I'm going to go through it. This is something that I've taught now. I estimate a couple hundred thousand people worldwide have seen this in some form or another. And this weekend I was present, or actually this week, I was sitting down with Mike Filsame, if you know who he is, and he finally got it. And he's like, holy cow, I'm going to dedicate one person in my office full time, and all they're going to do is 10 by 10 by 4s for my, all of my products from now on. So here's the idea. And I'm, this will be a participatory experience. And there will be a prize at the end, OK? So right now, if you sat about it, in every one of your businesses, the funky hat business, for example, other businesses too, it's a fine pimp hat there you got. I like it. All right. So um, you would sit down and come up with all your top 10 questions that people ask you all the time about your business or your services. So if I sat down and say, what's the number one question you get asked all the time about your product, your service, or you? And of course, they're going to ask things like, how much does it cost? How long does it take to get results? Can I do it? Blah, 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 whatever those are. So if you wrote down those top 10, how long do you think it would take you right now to come up with the top 10? What business are you in, sir? Yes, you. Just tell me. Oh, you write books. OK. Christopher, all right. Swimming to Angola and other tips for, for surviving the third world. Very cool, OK? So I, if I asked you right now, all right, Christopher, what's, and do you have a website? Yeah. OK. And you sell your book. Do you sell anything else? Uh, that's about it. That's about it. We can fix that. All right. So here's what we do. If I asked you right now what the number one question you get asked all the time is, could you tell me what it is? How much does it cost? OK, good. So um, introduce yourself. Tell me who you are, where you're from, and hold up your book. Christopher Blinn, author of Swimming to Angola here in San Diego. Great, hold it up. And what's the number, and you'll say, what's the number one question I get asked all the time is? Um, what's the cost of the no, book? No, tell me what that question the is. The number one question is, uh, what is the cost of the book? OK, of the book. OK, well, let me, t let me do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out a little bit here. I want to know about your copy and your content, OK? Because Angola is an interesting place. But how about, what's the most interesting question that people would ask you that you answer in your book? Where have you been around okay. the world? All right. And tell me a little bit more. Uh, how do you help other people around the world? OK, good. Um, I'm going to try something else. I'm gonna, I, I need to work on someone else, and I'll come back to you, OK? Because I, I need to teach you a little bit more. Who's someone else who's got a burning question they get asked all the time? I know you do, <laughs> Alana Pratt. Yeah. OK. So you know this game, yep. right? All right, so you're going to introduce yourself. You're going to tell me who you are, where you're from. Do you have any proof that uh, I can trust you? Written a book? Yes. OK, pretend this is your book and tell me what it is when you hold it up. Okay. And um, you're going to ask me, and what, what business are you in? Do we have a microphone? Fantastic. I should have asked for that a moment ago. Thanks, Yep, got it. It's on. OK, good. So. Um, Introduce yourself. Tell me what you got and what your number one question is. 
Hey, it's Alana Pratt here. I'm a sexy mom expert. I'm the author of How to Be and Stay Sexy, Getting the Love and Attention You Deserve, Being Exactly Who You Are. And that's the main question people say is, how do I get more love and attention? And it's not by trying to be sexy. It's by falling in love with exactly who you are, regardless of your circumstances. So I tell women just to take that bubble bath, to play with their kids and dance on the coffee table, to appreciate themselves in the mirror every day. And that begins to make a huge difference in their life. Where can I find out more about what you got? You can find out more at alanapratt.com. Okay. All right. So that took about 30 seconds. Now, the only thing I do, fabulous job. Let's give her a hand. Okay. All right. So the only thing that I do is I be specific in your offer for 20 free videos that will tell you mm. how you can feel sexier mm. about yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Talk mm. about the benefits. Right. Visit blah, blah, blah.com right. for those 20 free videos. Got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Everyone get that? Okay, so we're going to do another little test in a little while, but I would challenge you here is think about writing down some questions, okay, because I'm going to pick on someone else. Fabulous job one more time, Alana Pratt. Sexy mom. Great, great camera person too. All right, so, oh yeah, the outcome here. So the first 10 are your frequently asked questions. Your goal is to end repetitive selling, because here's what happens to all of us as entrepreneurs. We answer the same questions all the time, and the way people determine whether or not they're going to buy from us is feeling comfortable with what you got. Okay? You'll notice there's a pattern of behavior there. So if all you did is had all those questions on your website, you're going to sell more stuff. Now you've got a whole bunch of content, right? And you could have those transcribed, and now you've got an e-book. In fact, you've got to start to a book. And oftentimes when I do a little test and I'll say, okay, everyone sit down, write down a bunch of questions. In 10 minutes, yesterday I did this, one person wrote down 17 questions in three minutes. I've done this where I had a uh, lunch break, had people walk away and I said, hey, when you come back, whoever has the most questions wins a cool prize. Well, what happened was someone came back, had 257 questions. I kid you not, this is in Sydney, Australia. Someone else had like 180 in second place. Pretty neat. All right, so the second half, the second 10, is what we call the should ask questions. And these are the ones that establish credibility and trust, differentiate you and your product, desire and decrease. Okay, so Christopher, if I were gonna say to you, okay, what's the number one should ask question people should ask about why they should do what you did, okay? And I don't really know what your book is about. I don't know if the title is literal, Swimming to Angola, okay? Because are you really talking about, obviously not swimming from the United States to Angola, Okay, all right, so you swam a long, long way, okay? So, you know, one of the things that I'd ask you, for example, I'd want to know, is how do you get yourself in shape and how long does it take to get in shape so you can actually do something like that? And is it dangerous, okay? So that might be one of your frequently asked questions, but you might look in this as an expert, as an authority, you know, what is the most important thing I should be asking you? If you're going to save me 20 years of effort, and I'll put it in my context here because it's a little bit easier for me right now, is if someone came to me and said, look, Mike, you've been studying direct marketing, direct marketers for a long time. You're doing all this video stuff. You've worked with a bunch of famous people, blah, blah, blah. How did you do it? But that doesn't tell you anything. It's not specific enough. So what is save me 20 years of pain and effort and trials and tribulation? If I had 30 days right now to transform myself and uh, attach myself to a celebrity, what would you recommend I do? And uh, here's the answer. I'm going to give you a big tip. Is that cool? So, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. Hi, my name is Mike Koenigs, and, one of, and I'm the co-founder of Traffic Geyser and the author of the upcoming book, The Ultimate Guide to Video Marketing. So that's authority, by the way. I'm establishing credibility and authority by holding up my book. This is why you want to write a book. Or if I have an e-book, here's my e-book, okay? Which, by the way, are just your 1010-4s printed out. I'm the author of this e-book. Got it? Okay. So one of the biggest questions I get all the time is if I only had 30 days to attach myself and connect myself with a celebrity, an author, to leverage my business and grow and help sell more effectively and become famous myself, what should I do? The answer is pretty simple. Find someone that you can connect with, that you resonate with, who has a product or service, buy it, use it, and become their best testimonial. Prove it works, show evidence and physical proof that it works, and send that to them. They will not ignore you. In fact, you are exactly what they need, which is proof that their product and their system works, 
in some way that they can share that with everyone, they will make you famous overnight. And if you'd like to learn more, just visit my website at domain.com slash free to get 20 free videos on how to build your brand and become a professional expert, blah, 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 in uh, 30 days or less. There you go. Something like that. Got it? So here's what I got. Answer the question. Here's where to get more. So that's where I establish credibility and trust. And what happens is when you answer the should ask questions, people don't know what they don't know, so they don't know what they should be asking you. And in your product or service, you differentiate yourself on some level. They will clearly connect with what you got. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Now, there's the four. Here's the four. The first one is to get more, go here. That's at the end of every one of your videos. If you like this, I made 20 free videos just like this. Does it have to be 20? No, it could be five. You can make five videos. I did this with Bill Glazer a little while ago. He came out with a new book, wanted to promote it. We made nine videos. Okay, so at the end, you got to have an offer. I made 20 free videos like this that'll answer every question you have about swimming to Angola. Of course, you'd need to generalize it a little bit more than that because no one goes, hey, I'd love to swim to Angola. What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to go there. Aren't there crocodiles or something in the water? Some sort of dead people floating around? I don't know, diseases, things that slide in. Eh. Yeah, anyway, you get it. I'm just thinking, thinking out loud. All right, and then you're going to have a lead capture page. And here's what you do. On that page, I would say, okay, hi, my name is Mike Koenigs. I'm the author of The Ultimate Guide to Video Marketing. And I've created 20 free videos for you that will teach you everything you need to know about how to get attention, create buzz online with less than $100 worth of equipment and a computer. If you'd like to get all those 20 videos and my free ebook, just enter your contact information below and I'll see you on the other side. Boom. Got it? So it's an offer. Free stuff. Okay? No catches, no hooks. That's on your, on your lead page. And I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. Then you have the thank you page. And that is, you know, you click it. Hi, this is Mike. Thank you so much for entering your contact information. Just sent you a link by email. Click on that link, you'll have access to all 20 videos and the ebook. And here's what I do now. I'm telling people, make a quick buy of my stuff. You'll say, and by the way, here's my book. I'd love to ship it to you for the cost of shipping and handling. If you just click the button, I'll send that book to you, and cover my postage costs. And if you like it, keep it. I'll bill you in 30 days. If you don't like it, send it back, and, I won't, and you, won't, you won't owe me a dime. Thank you. Okay? So the whole idea is you already got them, you got that traffic, why not ask them to try it out? Do a risk free offer. Now, if you have a continuity program or a membership site, that's when you get them to try that out too. You with me? Okay. And if you're not clicking, that's okay. We'll cover this in a little bit. Some of this stuff takes a little while to get your head around. So, here's an example I told you about Bill Glazer. How many of you know who Bill Glazer is? That's really good. A lot of Dan Kennedy people here. If you're not familiar with Dan Kennedy, following him, check out Dan Kennedy's newsletter. This is a shameless plug. Um, sign up for it. Uh, Dan can be a little raw and harsh at times, um, but he is an extraordinary marketer and so is uh, Bill Glazer. So here's what, he just did this for his book. And I'll let him tell the story and I'll fill in the gaps. Hi, my name is Bill Glazer. I'm an author and president of Glazer Kennedy and Cyrus Circle. I'm recording this video right in the midst of promoting my new book, Outrageous Advertising That's Outrageously Successful. My goal is to pre-sell 35,000 copies of my book before hitting the shelves, which will really help in me achieving the bestseller status. I met with Mike from Traffic Geyser and I created a 10 by 10 by 4 video series using the Traffic Geyser system. It was without a doubt the best thing I did to significantly sell thousands of books. In fact, with each video we send out, we're seeing hundreds of book sales. From the second video alone, we noticed over 500 book sales in one day. I'm really amazed at how well video marketing works, especially when you have a system like the one that Traffic Geyser provides. Okay, that's a pretty damn good plug um, for one thing, but also, um, again, I'll give you the full disclosure. Now, he wasn't getting 500 book sales just from broadcasting it out from the search engine traffic. He did broadcast that out to his list, but he leveraged it. So. Right now, I actually broadcast these out with our system, and I'm getting between four and 20 leads per day from nine videos, OK? 
Okay? Sometimes more, but that seems to be the average I've been watching it. Now they're all going into my system. So I made these videos with an expert and authority like Bill, and I'm benefiting from it, and then I'm sending that traffic right into his system as an affiliate. So I'm making money every day for our business as an affiliate. So just want to, again, give you the full disclosure there. So your next step is to broadcast your content. So what you have is you have your video, and you want to send it out to as many video sites, social bookmarking, social networks, article directories, blogs, podcasts, and podcast directories as possible. Why? Because these days, if you just submit only to a video site, for example, it'll give you a limited amount of traffic, and there's a decline in terms of how much attention Google will give you. Google rewards you for frequent, relevant content. You can't just make one video, put it up, and expect it to generate traffic forever. It's sort of like if you decided to make an ad, put it in a small town newspaper, and get business in Los Angeles. It ain't gonna happen. And, you know, you're only as good as the last stuff you did. Google doesn't just put someone on top and leave them there forever unless there's activity, okay? So if you get out to all these places, each one has a lifespan. It varies, and the goal is to saturate with integrity. Then the search engines gobble up your stuff. And in my opinion, your goal these days is to reach the, the mobile market as well as the living room. There's some great things happening right now. You may or may not have seen it with tools like the Roku, Apple TV, and then a lot of new televisions actually are able to actually watch web content now. And you know, YouTube's goal is to be the worldwide broadcasting solution for all video content, anywhere, anytime, any device. So the sooner you hop on this bandwagon means the sooner you own eyeballs. And remember, there's four and a half billion mobile phone users. The majority of those new mobile phones in every country is capable of receiving video. And remember, your partners. What you're really doing is you're getting all your content out to all these social media sites and that's what's giving you that leverage with Yahoo, Google, MSN, slash Bing, etc. cetera. Is that clicking? Making sense? Okay, good. Simple stuff. So what do you have? This is a lead capture page for our newbies in the audience. You're here because you filled out a lead capture page. You got a video with an offer on it, an opt-in form, and an offer. Give me your contact information. I'll give you free stuff. And what I recommend you do is you do the 20 free videos or 10 or 5 or however many you're comfortable doing and you have them transcribed and put into an ebook and I'll explain how you can do that pretty much automatically in a couple minutes. Okay, so here's how the system works. You got your video, you broadcast it out to all these sites, you send people to a lead capture page, you follow up with an email, you send them to a blog. Why a blog? Because the search engines love blogs and people can post comments on your blog, which you can decide to approve or not approve. Five steps. So on your blog, and this is what we do, we've got product demonstrations, show before and afters, tutorials, testimonials, and of course the user-generated comments. And when you look at our blog, for example, a lot of people write these amazing things that basically are saying you know, stuff like, you know, the 10 by 10 by four method is where it's at, um, getting traffic, blah, 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 um, you give up in 15 minutes for free what the majority of self-styled gurus do after purchasing one of their overpriced and overhyped products. So this whole idea is other people are telling you how great you are. You don't have to do it. And <clears throat> I think the most important thing is besides the search engines gobbling it up, this is where you get an endless supply of new product ideas. Okay? So they're going to tell you what they like and what they want more of, and you can make more videos just answering those questions. <clears throat> So the fifth step, fifth step is getting paid. So <clears throat> the, the, right now, the trend that I see in the marketing world, for example, uh, I was with Mike Filsame, I mentioned that this week. Frank Kern's done this. What they're typically doing is they sit down with their product, and let's say it's you with your book, Christopher. <clears throat> so what you'll do is open up your book and say, hi, my name is Christopher. I'm the author of Swimming to Angola. And let me tell you why you want to read this book. And you open it up, and you go through the chapter, and you explain the benefits of reading each chapter and what's inside it. You don't give away the farm, but you open it up. And at the end, you have an offer. I'd love to send this book to you. In fact, I'm going to do it risk-free. You just cover my shipping and handling costs, OK? It's only going to be 7 bucks or whatever it is. Now, the reality is I can probably cover the cost of printing it and shipping it. But 
And uh, you know, if you like it, that's great. I'll bill you the rest in 30 days. If you don't, you send it back. The reality is, and I've done this time and time again, only 20% of the time will someone send it back to you at most, okay? It's too much hassle to send something back. Just bills, boom, it's over with, okay? And again, if you have a continuity program, they're in an auto bill. That's the, that's the strategy that just about every internet marketer is using these days and it works like crazy, all right? So, and this is where they get to meet you. Again, they've trusted you, they've gotten to know you through your videos and your blogs and that sort of thing. And um, what Frank did, for example, in his last thing, he opens up his box of stuff, puts it up and says, here's what I got for you, here's what it's gonna do for you, here's why you want it. Boom, no sales letter. Clear? Simple, simple. All right. So the process, you have your videos. You broadcast them out to all these social media marketing sites. You can completely automate that process to send them to a lead capture page, which can be done in less than five minutes. And you tell people to buy your stuff. That's the process. All right. So the summary, you present, making your videos simple, Using the 10 by 10 by 4 system, you penetrate, you broadcast them out, that's automated. Position, you create a lead capture page. You persuade, which again is basically automatic. It's all happening on your blog. Then you get paid. So, I'm going to tell you my little $30 million mistake. Is that all right? Interested? Okay. So, this is my wall of fame, okay? Um, everywhere I go now, remember I was telling you, bring along that, uh, that camera with you. Here's the deal, for 10 years, I did a whole bunch of work with a lot of big brands, Mazda, 20th Century Fox, and I was just a punk, okay? I, I, I was not a punk, meaning I was just a kid, you know? And I had no clue, but I was doing some interesting stuff for these companies, and it was at, some, at times the first of its kind, some of the first websites for movie sites. We did a video game that shipped in six million boxes of cereal, um, and they increased their, their General Mills, sold twice as many boxes of cereal during that time. Some great stories. And I was a consultant. So every time I had to get a gig, I had to resell myself over and over and over again. And some people who I knew would have trusted me and liked me and paid me a lot didn't take me on for one simple reason. Anyone know why? Yes. Yes. Do you want to know what it was? Do you, do you have a guess as to what I didn't do? Social proof, okay? If I would have had a little camera with me and interviewed each one of these CEOs, executives, people, leaders, industry leaders, big shots, celebrities, I was working with, at the time, he was, you know, Todd Rundgren, if you remember him, the rock dude, I did a bunch of stuff with him, a lot of folks. I could have just shown them these videos and had little testimonials, it would have been over with. So... This is what happened is not too long ago I sat down, I got frustrated because we were basically getting crappy testimonials and I was trying to figure out what the heck do you have to do? Because you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, most testimonials on most websites are junk, okay? What they are actually are endorsements, which is someone saying, hey, this is great. I made a, I think I'll make a half a million dollars. You should buy blah, blah, blah. It's like, look, you don't have permission to tell someone to buy my stuff. You know, you got no rapport. You got no authority, you got no credibility. So I put this little guide together and we made it available to our, our clients. And as soon as we sent the send button, actually got a video testimonial in three hours. And I'm gonna show you a little clip from that in a moment. Um, or maybe, yeah, basically I'm gonna tell you the story. Valerie Van Boven is her name. I'll see, actually I think I've got her in here, so I'll show it in a moment. So that's the meat. You wanna see the system? Okay, here it is. Isn't that cool? It's one of our customers made that. Um, okay, so uh, there is Traffic Geyser and then there's the system. So Traffic Geyser by itself is, is a tool, it's a software tool, but what we've been doing over the past three years is building little components, little systems that aid and assist in generating traffic. So there's software, which is the tool, but as we know, clicking buttons isn't the thing that makes you money. It's understanding these little plug and play systems that you can implement very, very easily. So by itself, 
And together, Traffic Geyser is what we call a social media relationship system. Its goal is to get you traffic, build your list, and make money. That's simple enough. And um, I'll give you the mini commercial. It's a push button, content creating, attention getting, list making, lead generating, prospect follow up, and customer keeping website making social media distribution system that saves you hours, days, and weeks of time and thousands of dollars so you can spend more time with the people and things that matter most, achieve financial freedom, and work in your business, not on it. There you go. I wish I could just memorize that. That's a lot of stuff. But it's sort of like, okay, well, that's basically what it is and what it does. So here's an example. And I don't know, did you see Robert Scheman out here? I just walked by him and I was like, oh, I can't remember his name. I can't believe it. But he's actually here today. He was at another event. Walked right by him. But anyway, My here's a little Scott example. My name is Scott Majors and I've got a marketing media company. Uh, one of our clients, Robert Scheman, used the Traffic Geyser uh, for launching his book. We actually launched over 100 different videos using the Traffic Geyser distribution. And we got literally thousands and thousands of uh, clicks through to our website. And as a result, uh, Robert's book hit the bestsellers list of the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, uh, Amazon, and USA Today all in the same week. And thank you, Traffic Geyser. There we go. Kind of cool. Yeah. So what is it? Well, here's the summary. And for the newbies, it might seem or feel a little bit overwhelming, but I'll explain it anyway. So what we do is we submit to video sites. We've got over 30 right now. It automatically makes podcasts. Your content can be delivered to any portable media gadget, including the iPhone, iPods, et cetera. And then it submits those to directories, because just making the podcast isn't enough. It needs to go somewhere. It submits to social bookmarking sites. We just are turning on, on Tuesday, the article site submission. Excellent, excellent. All right. We submit to social networking sites, including Twitter and Facebook. We submit to free blogs and unlimited user blogs. We have a WordPress plugin. So every time you post an article to your blog, whether you do it with our system or manually, then it will actually grab that and submit and bookmark that article as well. And we just added a feature that we turned on transcription. So when you submit your content, like for example, when we're doing our own events, this is what you can do. Ken, Take the video, upload it into Traffic Geyser, click a button, transcribe a day later. You're going to have everything that's been spoken and said here. Now you've got ebook versions of this for those of us who like to skim and read. Pretty handy. So, this is what you do with your 1010 upload, click, boom, instant ebook. And what I started doing with the book is I just submitted a, a, I created a lead capture form. I said, What's the number one question you have for me about social media marketing and video? I answer those questions, I upload them, put them in my book. Instant book. You could basically write a book in a week. Cool, cool. Anyone? Anyone? Ferris? Bueller? Yep. All right. And now you got instant articles and instant blog pages. Okay? Think about what that's going to do for your keywords and your, uh, your traffic, right? So now we also submit your blogs to social bookmarking sites. You can schedule and resubmit your content. You can create unlimited lead generation pages. And it automatically follows up with email, SMS, mobile text, and direct mail. If you're familiar with send out cards, we have a send out cards plug-in. So if you're capturing your address information, instant card. You can create one button blog sites and literally just fill in a little, it's basically three um, text fields, press one button, instant blog site, and Traffic Geyser will automatically put your videos and your articles on the blog site and then notify the social bookmarking sites, creating a nice web of links that go back to you. And you can make videos with a slideshow creator and a phone, and we host your videos and your podcast for you. So as I said, you can create lead capture pages. We've got a tool in there, and we've modeled some very, very powerful and really um, uh, great templates um, that we've basically modeled the CPA world. So I'll go to Frank and I'll say, hey, I found this new lead capture page. Would you have one of the guys model this and create a template for us? And he'll go, uh, one more thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just giving you a hard time, Frank. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. We don't have enough people to do this. But the whole thing is, that's what you get. You can literally fill in a form and have a lead capture page made in a couple of minutes. It's pretty cool. What was that, Frankie? Can you give me a hard time? Oh, no, there we go. Being around Mike is truly like drinking out of a fire hose. <laughs> My apologies. I know, but it works. We've got a whole bunch of people making money. So you get fast results, push button easy, no experience necessary, works with any computer. Ta-da. 
Okay, oh yeah, here's Valerie Van Boeven. She's the person who responded first to my uh, request for a testimonial. And um, I didn't pack it in the, in the presentation in case, you know, I'm always afraid of going over time. So I just grabbed some copy, but 38 years old, mother of triplets, makes $25,000, $773.23 in April, $18,000 in May, $24,000 in June with traffic guys. And here's the deal. What I asked for, just a little tip, is I asked for physical proof. So she's actually displaying her financials from her accountant on the video, okay? So it's sort of like, okay, you know, either believe it or you don't believe it, but I mean, it's like some of this stuff is too hard to make up. And this is what makes it so great. And what we did, I was so proud of her, I promoted her to our list, and she made a subsequent video that said it was the biggest day of leads in her entire career. And one year ago, and she showed her financials from a year ago, she was making 800 bucks a month. Okay? So, nothing beats physical proof. Okay, numbers. All right, good. And she's got her little triplets. Okay, famous guy. This is uh, Jorge Cruz. And um, he, uh, well, I'll put that back. There we go. He sold over 5 million books. But essentially what he's said on video is, I just took it out again. I was afraid I'd run out of time today. Um, you know, this is the best tool I have right now to generate traffic and leads online. Okay. So what I'm looking for are protégés and success stories who, basically, my goal is to make you more famous than you already are. Remember my little tip I gave you, which is, Tell me your story so I can share your story with the world. It's the fastest way to develop and create a list. Get to there in a moment. So here's what I got for you. And, um, you know, anyone who knows who I am knows that one of the things I'm constantly doing is, is doing my best to learn as much as I can from as many people as possible and leverage the relationships like with Tony or Paula or any of these other famous people and find out what their secrets and their tips are. You know, what are your systems so I can model them and implement them in Traffic Grizer, drive him completely insane so his wife thinks I'm a complete nut job and you're not even listening, Carol. I was just, okay, I'm just giving you a hard time here. Basically, <laughs> all right, so here are the systems. These are the components for this. Yeah, you can go ahead. So number one, and, and again, pay attention. I'm gonna give you the full disclosure, um, the, as they say, opening the kimono and explain what I'm doing here, which is I, we all get objections when we uh, present, it'd be like someone will say, well, I don't know how to make a video. I'm not comfortable with that. So what do we do? We make a video. Make a promotional video based on your product or service. Okay? And it's professionally done. The other thing we do, Jim's one of our coaches, we do two coaching sessions. So what should I do? How will this apply to my business? Is the question that gets asked. Well, you talk to a coach who will customize and work with you on your lead capture page. Help you with your with your 1104 help you determine what keywords to optimize for, create your lead page, set up your blog, okay? So you get two sessions. The next one is, and Jim leads these, we do group, group, group coaching sessions every Wednesday. Oh, great. Okay, we'll get the mic. I'll do a couple more things and then you can do the testimonial as soon as you have it. So group coaching sessions. The goal is, do the walkthrough. Okay, yeah, go ahead and set up. Oh, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'd be a fool if I wouldn't, guess what, come on up here. I'm going to grab my little flip camera here. I'm going to capture this moment forever. All right, I'll give, you the, I'll give you the video, I'll send it to you. Come on up. Oh, you got the stairs. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thanks I'm for coming up here. Oh, no problem, thank All right. you. Oops, that was uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, you got one too. All right. You want me to do both? Sure. Okay, here. No, 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 I'm gonna, okay. well, what, okay. Oh, like that, I got it. Yeah. Well, here's what we'll do. Do, and do, okay, go. Tell us who you are, where you're from, your business name, and uh, what you've been, uh, what, y the results you've gotten. Great, sure, uh, my name's Ray. We don't have any audio. On switch, oh, okay, on, oh, there we go. Let's test it out. I'm not an actress, right? Great. <laughs> okay, great. Great. Uh, my name is Maria Gadalis, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm the author of Get In, Get Out, Get Paid, Seven Ways to Get Paid as a Highly Paid Marketing Consultant. And I've been using Traffic Geyser since you guys launched it, actually quite a long time. And one of the fantastic things that I love about Traffic Geyser is that I do a lot of consulting to offline businesses, and it helped me land my first client, 5000 up front, 
and $2,000 a month. So if you quantify that for since I've been using Traffic Geyser, that's well over $30,000. And it's fantastic for search engine optimization. It's just great to get lots of links back to sites for my clients. And I can't thank you guys enough for bringing it out. And the fact that you're also now doing articles just makes it, me just go, wow, because that's going to be even more powerful. And if you want to check out anything that I have to offer, uh, you can go to ultimatecashsystem.com. And that's a system where I show students how to basically go out and get paid as a highly paid marketing consultant. Very nice. Give her a hand. Thank you. Wow, that was really nice. Good. Grab that. Push that dang button. Come on, you. But thank you. No, it's great. Ever since it came out, I've been using it. So it's for real. It's not something that's just... <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. That was nice. Good Very job. nice. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. So the only thing that we could have done is if she would have had like a, a check here or a contract or something, you know, to increase the physical proof. Not that I'm complaining. That was really nice. Thank you. Okay. So the group coaching sessions. Getting you started from square one so you understand how the system works. Um, you get a full year subscription to Traffic Geyser Platinum Elite, and that gives, us, gives you access to not only our very best system, our highest end system, you also get all the add-ons and changes we have. So for example, when we add article marketing, you get that automatically. Every time I add new training material and training content, you get access to that as well. Um, here's one of the challenges people say is they're like, okay, so right now you're submitting to over a hundred different sites. So I actually have to go out and create Logins and user IDs and accounts on all these social media sites, that's going to take forever. And it does. It's a big pain in the rear end. So we make them for you. So you can actually start submitting right away. Next thing we have, remember we talked about Newbie Mike. So you get access to all the Newbie Mike training videos. Originally, we were going to put that in and just make it a separate product. And I thought, let's add it to our Platinum Elite annual memberships. So it's only available when I present and I sell. We don't make it available like... Um, uh, online right now, you'll notice. Not right now. I'm starting to do monthly group coaching sessions. So you have an opportunity um, to actually submit questions. I will answer them in real time, live, teleseminar. So I'll share with you all my latest techniques and, and, and tips that I'm doing with, you know, basically I call it my celebrity coaching program because that's basically what it is. Next, someone will say, well, I don't want to do all this stuff. What should I do? Okay. Well, of course, we have coaches available to do that. But honestly, what I believe everyone should do is have a, a gopher who does some of the basic work. Now, what you can do is take the advertisement, this is the same one we use, copy it, paste it, put it into Craigslist, and what we typically get is about 45 responses in three days or less. So of going to be highly qualified editors or people who are going to love doing social media marketing. Give them access to your Traffic Geyser account, watch the training videos, and do for you. Make sense? Okay. This is a big tip. It really is. This is how you get become free. We also have made available our certified coaching program. This is the same program that we make available for people who become our coaches. It's 12 sessions that teach you not only that, but if you want to actually start your own social media marketing business, it's been created by people who are doing this for real and making money doing social media marketing. Viral video secrets, if you're familiar with my friend Len Foley, the guy who created the Bionic Burger, a lot of people are like, how would I create um, high quality videos like you do and I don't want to do it myself? Well, this is how to get the outsourcing done, where to get royalty free music, where to get the royalty free images, if you want to go that far, okay? Great little program. My video producer's buyer's guide answers the biggest question, the next biggest question is, what equipment should I buy? Where should I get it, okay? All the vendors that I use, lights, cameras, microphones, equipment, if you want to go beyond a simple fl flip camera, this is the guide. I talked about this. This to me is probably one of our crowning achievements so far in the system is how to make a perfect video testimonial. Brian Tracy and Tony Robbins are actually modeling this and using it for their own customers and their clients right now. I recommend you model it as well. It's got a release form if you're capturing testimonials that people can fill out. It's actually got a script you can model. And of course, I use it ourselves, and I'll explain why in a moment. Very, very, very powerful. And we're going to give you an hour of transcription credits. We just added this. I'm giving it to you. So this way, you can start uploading your content right away, and you'll have articles and the start of your book. And I've interviewed Tony Robbins. One of the things that I love about him is he is, to me, one of my greatest mentors. He's taught me a ton of stuff. 
and it's his step-by-step -step blueprint. If you want to think like Tony and understand how he, who he's modeled and how he's gotten to where he's gotten to, this is it. And I also did the same thing. I created a video interview with Brian Tracy, and Henry can attest to this. It's probably one of the best, and Frank as well. This is one of the best pieces of content ever that we've created. It is fabulous stuff, and Brian Tracy is a remarkable, remarkable man. Yep. So we're bundling that as well. It's a big tip. It's a big bonus. And lastly, this is the thing that I want to promise you is nothing would give me greater pleasure than to tell your story to our customer database. We're, we're nearing 100,000 um, opt-ins right now in the Traffic Geyser database alone. And if you use our system, I want to share your story with our entire database. So that basically will give you an instant list and instant credibility. And there's a step-by-step -step system that instructs you, on how, instructs you on how to create a perfect offer and how to create social proof that what you have is desirable. And that's included as well. So here's the deal. I'm going to go through this. I'm not going to give you the big old song and dance. But here are the pieces. We've got the video done for you, the extended coaching session, the one-on-ones, unlimited group coaching, full year subscription to Traffic Geyser, the pre-made profile, the newbie mic training videos, group coaching. Bottom line here is we're going to hold your hand and walk you through the process so you, you can be promoting and marketing your business very, very rapidly. And the first 25 will market to our database. And the total package value, again, I believe this is real world value, is almost $20,000. Now here's the deal. This, I'm doing this for you, Ken. We are going to be selling this package for $29.97 by November. And the cheapest I've ever sold it for is $24.97. Henry can attest to that. It's $19.97 today. This is the only time. I know that sounds like something every, every uh, speaker ever does. I am not BSing you. It's 1000 bucks off of the cheapest I'm going to be selling it for starting in November and 500 bucks off the cheapest I've ever sold this for. So I'm going to be right... Oh, yeah, we've got the forms. Did we pass them out? We did. I'm here for you. I'm here for the day. So is Frank. So is Jim. So is Henry. And where should we stand? Right over here? We'll answer questions. Yes? Will you join me? Be our, be, you know, become a member in our family. We're here to support you, and nothing would make us happier to, than to see you have massive success online. There you go. That's what I got. All right. Great job. Thank you, Mike.